Hey, 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 Kulatu. Thank y'all so much for being here, tuning in and tapping in. Y'all already know who and what it is. I am your girl, Bucky. And this, of course, is Sip This Tea Tarot, where I'm about to tap right in with Spirit and get the tea on your situation or whatever it is Spirit needs for you to know at this time. Collector, please excuse the mister in the background snoring. He's had a long day at work. But it's like I had to come and chill with y'all, the kids in their rooms. Just, I don't know, being loud, I don't know, sure. But all I know is it's Tuesday, and it's chill with Collector Day. So we gonna go ahead and tap in here. We ain't gonna make it too long, no, y'all. It's just the energy of y'all make somebody really, really nervous. Y'all feel like this person don't like y'all or whatever, because every time it's like you walk into a room or something like that, this person leaves. And that is seriously the energy here. It's not that this person does not like you. It's you make this person nervous for some reason. And we're going to tap in with spirit and see what about you makes this person nervous. Is this a good nervous because you know they feeling you or something like that? Maybe they admire you. Or is it a bad nervous because they know they done said something about you or did something that they don't want to catch up to them. So we're going to go ahead and tap in here. And see what Spirit has to say about this whole situation. Lord. Yeah. Five of Swords here. Let me move this deck. I don't know why I put those decks right there. Five of Swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Energy. Yeah, it's feeling like whomever this is, they watch you from the shadows. Yeah, but we got the Five of Ones right there. Five, five. So some of y'all, this is a person here. Who they leave the room when you walk into the room because this person done said some shit about you that they really don't want to face. They feel like maybe you coming to confront them. So yeah, they make themselves they make themselves scarce as soon as you walk into the room. Yeah, three of ones, yeah, distance. These motherfuckers, yeah, these bird bitches, they they get ghosts as soon as you walk into the room for this reason right here. Holy Spirit, yeah, look. The hermit, didn't I say ghost? Yeah, came up in the reverse, though. Yeah. These people really think that you coming to confront them. Yeah, these people know on the inside that they done fucked up with you. They done fucked up and said something that they shouldn't be saying, so they really think, yeah, they unstable. You make these people nervous, it's like they jittery than a motherfucker. So they have to get out of your presence now with that. Y'all see that right there? With this right here, some of y'all now, these people get ghosts when you walk into the room simply because they have so much, like, um, I don't want to say love, but they admire you. This person does have some type of romantic feelings towards you. Could be a Virgo here uh, or a fire sign, air sign as well. Yeah. Then we got the death card coming up in the reverse. Scorpio energy. Yeah, this is kind of like a mind game that these people just keep, keep, they just keep going and going and going. So it's like, as soon as you walk into the room, yeah, it could be three of them. One of them could be a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, and Scorpio right there. As soon as you walk into the room, they get ghosts because they've been talking shit about you. Mm-hmm. Mm-mm-mm. But see, this is feeling like because somebody's secretly in love with you. Yeah, a page of cups coming out. Water sign energy. But these people are very, very immature. Very immature. Mm -mm -mm. Holy Spirit. Ooh, can't even answer the question. Yeah, look, four ones. Yeah, look, somebody could be, like, tall as fuck, and somebody could be short. Somebody could be, like, um, darker skin complexion. Someone could be of a lighter skin tone. But whomever this is, they just really immature. It's like they're trying to get your attention by going about it the wrong way. It's like serious mind games going on here. Yeah, it could be an Aquarius here. But it seriously feel like all this person want to do, but they can't, it's like embrace you. 
So some of this is like somebody really like you, but they didn't talk shit about you. And so they can't show how they feel. I don't know if y'all work together or if, yeah, look, six of cups. This could even be somebody that you used to be with and now y'all have like the same friend circle or y'all work together or something like this. And this person like is at work like talking shit or in this friend circle behind your back talking shit. But they still really, <laughs> really in love with you. But they try to make it seem like it wasn't nothing good going on between y'all while y'all were together. <laughs> this could be somebody and y'all could work together now. But I mean, it's like this person here. They a trip. I'm telling you, somebody is doing a whole lot of shit just to get your attention. It's like somebody could have like a lot of tattoos here. But I'm telling you, this person is still madly in love with you. Like, they want to message you and everything. But they can't because of all the shit that they've been talking. Holy Spirit, why can't they send this message exactly? Why won't they open up and say... Oh, okay. They can't because they already with somebody and they made it seem like you wasn't nothing to them. Yeah, they been talking, running their mouth. Yeah, somebody thought this shit was funny. Yeah, talking about the Empress here. Somebody thought this shit was funny, feel like. It's like people on the phone, like they in a group text just talking about you. But the person that's in the group text, they're probably, possibly, I don't know if this person started the group text or they just participating in it. They just going along with the shit just because. It's like the most immature shit I've ever heard. But this person really in love with you. Yeah, look, nine of ones coming up in the reverse. We got a lot of cards coming up in the reverse here. Something is very unstable about this person. It's like they want to, like, lash out, but they can't. They really wounded, but they refuse to show it type shit. Yeah, it could be a Leo here. It's like they really over the situation, but they the ones that started the situation about you. And the mess that it's just like they can't stop it now. They just gotta keep going with the shit. Yeah, judge me, because they don't wanna be judged. It's like this person started like rumors or some shit about you, or and they it's like they only did that shit when they was in their feelings. Yeah, look, the devil popped out on the top of all these cards that popped out. Could be a Capricorn here. Then we got Queen of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, the Empress, and also the Knight of Swords. It's feeling like somebody took action and started talking shit about you simply because it was a group of people. Look, the lovers, Gemini energy, you see all them people. It was like a group of people. This is kind of like, um, I don't want to call it like gang stalking or whatever, but it's like a group of people was talking shit about you. And like, I don't know what happened between you and this person. It seemed like y'all broke, it broke down or I don't know if this has something to do with work here. Somebody's workplace. I don't know if this is a group of people that somebody started working with. And then like, I don't know. It's like somebody went and like, poured their heart out to somebody you know what i'm saying somebody here that they work with had feelings for them no bullshit so it's like they started talking shit because this other person started talking shit but see the your person couldn't stop the shit that they started now it's like a whole group of motherfuckers talking shit about you but this person your person is pretty much over it wanting to defend you but can't because they know that this group is going to judge them if they do because it's like nigga you the one that said such and such and such such about the bitch yeah that's only because this person was in their feelings you see what i'm saying eight of swords in reverse all these cards coming up in reverse Somebody is no longer feeling like mentally stuck to this group. And it's like this person is about to, it's feeling kind of like lash out because it's about to be conflict within this group. Could be an air sign here for sure. 
somebody it's like somebody get out of their feelings they get out of feeling butt hurt yeah and then they just like they don't want nobody saying shit about them no more but you the one started the shit 10 10 as i started saying it yeah but it's like whoever this is resonating you you over these motherfucking mind games they can have conflict in that group if they want to long as they don't involve you and say anything they want to about you but they better not put their hands on you is the energy that i'm feeling yeah you single you out here comfortable single ready to mingle type shit yeah i'm getting i ain't no killer but don't push me with this queen of swords here for real yeah you're an empress but you know how to get buck if need be mm-hmm it feel like whoever this person is, they drowning in their emotions. They like really hurt. Yeah, this person was playing the victim. And for, I don't know what happened to Yeah, two of ones. They stuck in between. Like two, This could even be like this person here. They even started something romantic with someone that they work with. You see what I'm saying? Talking shit about you and all this other kind of shit. Now this person... They love the fuck out of you. I always have. I always will. Now they stuck in between two. Two minds or either two people. But they stuck. Yeah, it could be an Aries here somewhere. But like I'm saying, I see you single and moving the fuck on from all of this. YOLO. You're like, I don't have time for this shit no more. Yeah, some of y'all, this person even got the nerve to want to return to y'all after this bullshit. With the Empress card out here, somebody could have even had a baby on somebody. Yeah, somebody out here couldn't, it's like they couldn't stop running around. It's like this person was a player when somebody met them. Someone here was married, possibly. But this person was a player even before they got married. And it was like conflict after conflict after conflict because somebody kept involving other people in this, this marriage or this relationship. Mm -hmm. but it's feeling like whomever this person is they would like send you love messages tell me tell you how much they love you but behind your back they was telling people really that you wasn't shit like going along with people talking shit about you this is craziness mm -hmm. i'm hearing somebody tell somebody that you stuck on them but they single yeah, this was a toxic situation, a toxic motherfucker. Yeah, somebody here is very, very unhappy. Could be a Leo. Or this could be uh, involving a Leo. Yeah, somebody here, whomever this person is that started these rumors, they're single and they're very unhappy. They don't, they don't like being single. They really don't. But it's like they were working out a... They were being two-faced. That's what Spirit is saying. Somebody here was being two-faced. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Somebody was being very two-faced, acting one way in your face and another way behind your back. Like I said, thank you, Holy Spirit, for that. Yeah, it could be a Sagittarius here. Yeah, it's like somebody here was just really, really like laid back. Like they could be sitting up having drinks with this little crew that they was with or whatever they was doing. I see smoke right there. If it looked like some smoke, they could be smoking. Just sitting there really talking shit. But on the inside, this person loving on you, telling you that they love, love you and everything else. Mm, mm, mm. This is craziness. Yeah, we got the Eight of Cups and the High Priestess. Yeah, but some of y'all, look. It's y'all, y'all walking away, y'all walked away from this situation. Your intuition popped. Like it was a lot of secret shit going on here, and you knew it. You knew something about this situation didn't feel right. You knew it. Somebody would sit up next to you and just like talk on their phone all goddamn day. Somebody in this group was trying to get your person. Yeah, somebody was sitting up here sending your person love messages. Your person sitting up here telling you, no, this just my friend. And shit like this. Mm -hmm. Some of y'all mad as fuck, but look, refuse to react. Mad as hell, but refuse to react. But then I'm seeing it got to be too much. You got it got to be too much with them fucking mind games. Yeah, some of y'all had to show this motherfucker exactly who the fuck you were. This is how you were showing up, but you had to show him. I ain't no punk. 
Don't play with me. Yeah, and that's the motherfucking truth. And now you single, and this motherfucker right here is unhappy that you walked away. Mm -hmm. Some of y'all, they was trying to get you to, uh, it's like your intuition was popping about this situation. And this person here tried to make you feel like you was like losing your mind. Mm-hmm. So mm. Yeah, we got the nine of swords here. This person up all night in their head trying to come up with a plan on how to make this shit right again. But how the fuck you make some shit like this right? Some of these people could have even been pillow talking about you. I'm just this is it. This shit don't make no sense. Yeah, Queen of Cups. Some of y'all up in y'all head all night about this situation where you were. And some of y'all still are. Because you're you're remaining in your empress energy and you're refusing to take action. But like I'm telling y'all, your intuition is popping, telling you to walk away because something here ain't right. Some of y'all very unhappy in this situation, but refusing to leave. I'm hearing someone is trying to keep the peace, but how do you keep the peace here? Yeah. King of Pentacles here. Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Yeah, Tower. Aries, Scorpio, Aquarius. Yeah, this could be somebody that's still living with someone and this shit is going on. Some of y'all here have absolutely walked away. You're very much single. Some of y'all here, I still see y'all living in this home, but there is no peace here. There is no peace. Someone here is also posting shit online, like in skimpy ass clothes, or you know how they be talking about gray sweatpants and shit like that. Yeah, attention horror energy just popped out. Knight of Pentacles and the Seven of Swords. Somebody here just completely like slow shit down with you. Look, this this is what I'm feeling like, seriously. I told y'all this was a job. It's feeling like somebody got on their feet. And then, all of a sudden, somebody wasn't good enough. Yeah, y'all went through something, and this little motherfucker went to a group of somebody that he worked with. And actually, like, tried to express, but started talking shit. And allowed other people to talk shit about you as well. This shit done got out of hand. They can't stop it. Even it's saying, I just can't let it show. This person got real genuine emotions for you. But they can't let it show because some shit they done already said to some other people. Yeah. This motherfucker slowed shit down with you, cheated on you because some shit they already had going on. They had they started something else with somebody that they work with. Mm -hmm. Some of these people, it's like they they seriously thought you were crazy because you were spiritual here. Hmm. Wait a minute. It's like somebody here tried to be just like you to turn this person head away from you and on to them. Yeah. Look at this. Some of y'all are very spiritual. Somebody here tried to be just like you. To get your person to walk away from you and go to them. So it's kind of like a doppelganger. If she's spiritual, I'm spiritual. Yeah, it could be a Sagittarius here. Temperance on the bottom of the deck again. Patience. Yeah, some of y'all are having a lot of patience that's still stuck in this situation. Some of y'all showed a lot of patience when y'all were in this situation. But I'm seeing that this person right here, this third party person, whoever this person this person work with, they did this shit over a amount of time and they knew exactly what the fuck it is they were doing. They really did. And your person fell for it. Yep. Damn, I got a lot of cards popping out. It could be an Aries and a Libra right here. Four swords and see what I'm saying? Somebody tried to get any offer that this person was offering you to slow the fuck. They tried to get it to lay. They tried to lay it to rest. They tried to end it. 
They didn't want you getting anything from this person. Yeah. This is also here about, uh, I don't know why, but I'm seeing somebody breast her. So I don't know if this person is at work flashing your person. Yeah, somebody here, this could be have some, I don't, you know, I'm not right, but this has something to do with the, uh, a, a Latin person, however y'all want to say it, Mexican, Hispanic. But it's like somebody did all of this to get somebody head to turn away from you. Again, that could have been like a, a age difference or a body weight difference here between you and this other woman or other person, whomever this is resonating with. Yeah, look, the moon card. Your person either is now trying to hide this or they try to. But some of y'all, this person is actually hiding from you. They walk away when you walk into the room because it's like they don't want you to see them. Also, Spirit here is saying something about people um, feel like they're being ignored. No, you're, uh, you're vibrating so high that most like low vibrational people can't see you. So that is why you're not getting a lot of offers at this time. It has nothing to do with your physical appearance. <laughs> oh, it's very convenient. Yeah, Ace of Pentacles and the Two of Swords. Yeah, some of y'all like, fuck this shit. I, I'm going off on my own. I'm chased the sun. But I'm telling you, somebody here is indecisive about who to make an offer to. Yeah, and it's heavy on them. To the one, somebody here is dealing with two people. Somebody they work with, and then somebody possibly that they live with. But somebody here, if this is resonating, somebody here is dealing with you and another person. And they're trying to figure out who to make this offer to. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But this is my thing. If you got to make a choice between me and somebody else, pick the other person. Because I ain't nobody goddamn option. Ain't that right? Yeah, eight of wands. Communication. Again, earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. It's like somebody here is really about to, I'm hearing confess. Man, you know, like, and that's the truth. They like really, somebody is finna confess to you this whole situation. Somebody is actually finna come through here and tell you the truth about this whole fucking situation, collective. Wow. But see, this person has been very, very indecisive about coming towards you, period. It's like they having an internal battle with themselves about this. Yeah, Ten of Swords, because they know, oh my God, they know without a shadow of a doubt that they betrayed the fuck out of you. And they know when they, look, it's, I'm telling you, some of y'all, this person is fighting with this group or another person in this group, possibly this person that they work with that they started some shit with, because this person wants to contact you. But somebody like, man, I'm telling you, if you contact her, I'm going to beat your ass. <laughs> somebody here wants to send you a message here, possibly about this situation that's going on or that went on. Yeah, I see somebody opening it up and reading it. It's like, what the fuck is this? <laughs> bitch, I know you didn't. <laughs> did this bitch just text me? <laughs> yeah, she did. Yeah, look. Last betrayal, because you I feel you finna close it out. Some of y'all done already done that, but this is gonna be the very last time. Whatever this information is that you are about to receive, this message, this communication, whatever, some something you may even somebody might even post something on social media. But whatever it is, it's gonna be the straw that broke the camel back because I see the situation ended. Yeah, and the fucked up part about it is somebody, I'm telling you, somebody playing the whole situation. Magician. Yep. Damn. It's like somebody timing this shit just right. And there go that moon. 
See how she's stepping out in front of that moon? This person is finna make themselves known to you. They finna make everything known. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Somebody here don't. I'm telling y'all, somebody is fighting with this other person. Like, if you do it, I'm gonna bust your ass. If you tell her, I'm gonna kick your ass. It's like, go on now. <laughs> Leave well enough alone. Go on now. Yeah, but you the one started the shit, and that's the truth. Here they come. <laughs> All right, collective. It's been real. If the video resonates, please like, comment, as well as subscribe, and we'll get back up.